Hey guys, so in this video, we're gonna go over how to record restaurant sales, uh, restaurant daily sales. Uh, you could use this same method for other type of online businesses too. Uh, and if you like the video, do subscribe to the channel for future updates. Okay, so let's get started. Now, first thing you do before recording a restaurant daily sales is you have to create certain accounts in QuickBooks and certain items in QuickBooks. So let's start creating accounts. So we will go to chart of accounts in our books. Click on new. So the first account we're gonna create is, it's called food sales. Now I'm gonna create only one type of food sales and food discount. You could create uh, different different sales uh, accounts too, like food, beverage, like if you wanna do liquor separately, you could do that. Um, any kind of like other type of food or beverage sales that you wanna track separately, you could create like different sales account for those. For my video, this video's purpose, I'm only doing one um, sales account. Okay, so it's gonna be an income type account. And this is gonna be sales of product income. Okay, we're gonna do save and new because there are plenty of accounts we have to create. So now next one's going to be food discount. It's gonna be an income type account and it's gonna be discounts or refunds. We're gonna do save and new. Next one's going to be sales tax payable. It's going to be other current liabilities other current liabilities actually let's see we have sales tax payable here so perfect sales save and new next one's going to be tips payable it's going to be other current liability as well just going to pick other current liabilities as the detailed type save and new Next one is going to be gift cards. Yes. So in restaurants, most of the time, gift cards. So most of the time they do sell uh, gift cards. So you have to maintain an account called a gift cards liability because when you sell gift cards, it's not really your income at that point. You have to put it in liability because you have to provide products or services against that. So gift cards is going to be a liability. So we're gonna create a liability type account called gift, card, gift cards liability. And it's gonna be a other current liability account and save and new. Then we're gonna create an account called cash on hand or we can call it petty cash. And it's going to be a bank type account. Cash on hand, save and new. Now there's another account that we have to create. It's called undeposited funds account. I think I already have it in my books. I think most likely you're gonna have it already in your books. If you don't, you're gonna create it as other current assets type account. And detail type is gonna be undeposited funds account. Okay, now we are done with creating all the accounts that we need uh, to have set up already before we can make the entries. Step two is gonna be creating items because we're gonna be creating, we're gonna be entering daily sales using a sales receipt. So any kind of forms when you use in QuickBooks, you need to have the items set up. Um, so let's set up the items now. And so we're gonna go to gear icon, products and services. Now let's start creating items one by one. So now I'm gonna create the items which are going to be linked or mapped to these accounts that we just created. So let's create all these items. So click on new service first item is going to be food sales and same description here food sales and it's going to be linked to my item called food sales okay now one more thing i'm going to do is i am going to create a category here called daily sales so this way all my items that belong to this daily sales summary they all are grouped together. So daily sales, I'm gonna create as category and I'm gonna click on save and new. Okay. Next one is going to be food discount. So food discount, 
point due to food discount and the category is going to be daily sales okay save and new now the next item I'm creating is tips payable again category same daily sales it's the link to tips payable okay save and new Next one is going to be sales tax payable. Again, category would be daily sales. Description, sales tax payable. Save and new. Now I have gifts, gift cards. I am only going to call it gift cards, not gift card liability and daily sales as category and it's linked to a gift cards liability account now save and new a couple more items so next one is going to be cash so this is basically cash sales anything any sales that you got paid for in cash category would be daily sales cash now cash is going to be linked to undeposited funds account on the back end and I'll show you why and then we have uh, we might get paid by checks right people might pay you by checks as well so we're gonna create an account uh, item called checks daily sales as category somebody would be checks it's gonna be linked to undeposited funds account as well and the last one is going to be for credit card people would pay you by credit card too so credit card sales would be here credit card and category would be daily sales and this would be linked to undeposited funds account as well and again I'll show you why we do it this way um, okay perfect so these are all the items that we needed to create so let's save and close so save and close Okay, if you look at your products and services, you can see how all these accounts that we just, all that all those items that we just created, how they got organized by, into one category called daily sales. Now we have all the items, accounts, let's record the sales entry. Click on new on the left hand side, uh, then click on sales receipt. Okay, we'll pick a customer called customer. We'll put the sales receipt date. Let's say it's 7-30-24. We don't need any other detail. If you want, you can use the 7-30-24 sales receipt number. Payment method. We'll create a payment method called daily sales here. Perfect. Now let's create a bank account too. Call daily sales. This is going to be our clearing account. We just don't want too many zero entries in our actual bank account. So we're just going to use this bank account to make these entries. So save and close. Okay. Now let's start with our items now that we created. Um, you're going to look at a sales summary report from your POS. I don't know what it's called in yours, your POS. You're just going to need a summary report that shows all the details about sales, discounts, sales tax, tips payable, gift cards, and everything. So let's start recording. So first would be food sales. So food sales for first day is going to be $2,000. Then we have discounts, food discount. Food discount is going to be, it's gonna be a negative of $100. Next one is tips payable. Tips payable are $400. Then we have sales tax payable. 
sales tax payable is going to be 150 gift cards so it should be called gift cards gift cards and gift cards are 350 so this is a sale of gift cards then we have credit cards so credit cards now all these payment methods are going to go in negative now so whatever we got by credit card we're going to enter it as a negative number so let's say 2150 was the credit card then we have cash on hand so people paid by cash and that was three hundred dollars Then we got checks. Now with checks, you have to be careful. You should enter each check individually. So you'll say check number one, two, three from ABC customer. And it's going to be say $200. Then again, another check. Check number. 789 from customer XYZ and that is 150 okay at the end your sales receipt has to be zero in total okay so this is how you would record this entry now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record it another day's sale here and I'll just click on save and I'm gonna stay in this entry and more and copy copy next day's sales 731 so this one is going to be 731 24 everything else is same same items now let's start food sales are 2100 for next day discount is 150 tips are 250 sales tax is 75 gift cards okay so now this one's a little tricky because we have now we sold gift cards of 150 but we also now people paid we are gift cards too. some people redeemed the gift cards that they bought okay so now we're gonna add another line item here by clicking on this plus sign same gift cards account it's called gift cards so we're gonna say here gift cards purchased and gift cards redeemed and how many were redeemed? Worth $200. So people paid their bill using gift cards. So that's negative $200. Now sale is going to be a positive number and when they redeem the gift card, it's gonna be a negative number. So next one is going to be credit cards. How much was paid by credit card? 1950. So again, negative numbers. Next one is cash. Cash was $75. Now, checks. Okay, check. We only got one check this time on this day. The check was only $200. It was $567. John Doe. Okay. Now, we don't need this line item, so I deleted it. That's it. Now, my numbers are zero again. Sales is zero again. Now, save and close. So, you have recorded the sales now, sale part only now. Now, Let's say two days later, you're getting paid from your credit card, so you need to record the money, you need to record the deposit against the sales. Okay, so first you're gonna do is the credit card sales. So let's do that. So click on new, we're gonna click on bank deposit. Okay, so we're gonna pick our credit card sales. This is credit card, and this is credit card. Okay, these two days, so we can see in the memo. Credit card sales okay and the date of the payment is 8-2 and which bank account is it chase 4951 yep that's my right bank account now when credit card companies pay you uh, they don't pay you everything they take out their fee as well so we're gonna say received from customer and merchant account fee this is another account you need to create actually merchant service fees 
this is going to be a normal simple expense account and then the amount is going to be let's say 120 and then the bank deposit should be 39.80 now this is what your bank account should show that you got so save and close we're done recording credit card payments now let's create a duplicate tab and let's go to our bank account and see if we actually got that money let's go to the right bank account and yes we do see the merchant deposit from customer is 39.80 all I'm gonna do is match done okay now another step here is we need to deposit those checks and cash into the bank as well so let's do that so now click on new bank deposit now I'm gonna pick all the cash and checks so all the cash and check these are all the cash and checks from two two days and that adds up to 925 we have cash worth 300 plus 75 375 now let's say we want to keep 175 dollars cash for petty cash okay so we're gonna say customer here we're just keeping cash so our cash account is cash on hand and you can say cash for and you can say petty cash kept okay minus 175 so this is going to be a negative number so we're depositing 900 we are saying we are taking all this cash of 375 dollars plus these other checks but minus 175 we're keeping this with us so we're not taking this to the bank now $750 is what is going to the bank actually. So we're gonna pick the right date, pick the right bank account here, and then save and close, 750. Okay, now let's look at our bank transaction and see if we got that money actually in the bank. Okay, we did. Okay, so it shows up, bank deposit on August 2nd, 750, you're gonna match it. And that's it, and this is how you record restaurant sales and the credit card money and the cash and check deposits into QuickBooks Online. That's it. Thank you and happy accounting.